this tutorial, I will show you how you can make a 3D simulation or animation where we first have the sun shining, then it is covered by a cloud, followed by lightning and thunder, rain with more lightning and thunder. This, of course, will have thunder sound effects. First, let's have a look at how this will turn out to be like. I have these files, and the one I'm going to run is this one. And I better wait so I can click this. Now I press click somewhere else on the screen to remove that square. I choose to go to camera view. Now I click on this. And we better wait for a while. Now I click on this. And I go to particle settings, I mean properties. Let's see. Viewport display. And I don't want them to show the emitter. Now this is finished. I can click here. And I also want to remove this thing. So I click on, let's see here, this. And I press the space bar. I can zoom in a little. We have our sun and it's being blocked by a cloud. Followed by thunder and rain. Now you can see we have a little problem if I rotate. I better go back to a camera view, which is the good view. Now if I rotate, you can see that the sun is actually behind the cloud, not in. Okay, this is getting confusing, so I better go back to this view. When you're making these simulations, it's a good idea to choose a view where things look the best and store it inside a camera so we can go to that beautiful view whenever we want to. Now, let's have a look at how we can create this. So I close this. Hmm, I can choose to save it. So next time, it I can just open it. Now, let's have a look at what's in this file. I import OS and use OS the system to call this Blender link along with this Python file that's in the current directory. So this is the most important part. Let's see what's in there. Here, I import everything that I need. Now, I set the sync mode to audio sync to let the audio go in order with the frames. I have 500 frames, and I want to start editing at frame 1. Now, I set the mode to object so I can add objects to our Blender file. Here, I select all the might be hidden objects and make them not hidden. And here I delete all of them. And over here I delete all the sounds that might be in that file. So Because I want an empty Blender file to work with. I add a sequence editor to our Blender file. Here I define a variable slot 1. That will come in handy when I start doing the voices. 
I mean the sound. I define a function to select the vertices of an object that I might use. And here I define a function to extrude objects. When you extrude something, it's like we take one plane of, for example, I have a cube and I take one plane and I lift that plane. Hmm. I just take a paint. Let's say this is my cube. And I'll just fast forward for you guys. So you won't have to wait. Let's say this is my cube and I extrude one of the planes. It's like I pull it and then they will we have these extra vertices. Like this. This will come in handy to make my thunder. Now, I define a function to create a line full of extruded things. So, like a line of cubes that are all extruded. Here, I create a plane axis. And this is almost like it doesn't do anything physically, but... This will make our thunder jiggle around. You'll see what I mean soon. Here I set it so the thunder and and the rain will be a bit glowing. This here, I define the shade of our lightning, but I haven't put it on yet. Now you can see what's here. And I guess I better show you here too. Now, back to that shade. This one will be the blue shade for the rain. Now, this one is the cloud shade. And all these are also for the cloud. These are nodes to give, us, give the cloud the shade and things we want. Now, this material is for the sun. I mean, this shade is for the sun. Oops. Here I set the background color, and this color is a, in a shade of blue. Here I define a function that will actually that will let us create the lightning, and I use the function I made earlier, the line function. Now, I I put some lines together to form the shape of thunder, because if I don't, it would just be a straight line. Now, this function here will let us create the cloud. It's basically just a cube. That, that I scattered the volume, so it will look like a cloud. Now, let me just remove this. And here, I call the cloud function. I have the location, the size, and I choose for it to transform from which frame to which frame. And after frame 200, it will just stay still. And here I call the lightning function. I can choose the location and things. You can see I chose to have a lot of lightning. And if I want, I can always add more simply by copy pasting and changing location or such. Here, I add the voice. This is the thunder sound. If I want, I can also add rain sound. Here, I define what our raindrop will look like. And this will be in the shape of a raindrop. Now here, I create a plane and I will make our raindrops come out from under it. 
The rain count is 1,000. I want it to start raining at frame 200. And if you can remember, that is the time where our clouds stop changing shape. And this means that each raindrop will last for 20 seconds. I mean, 20 frames. Now, over here, this is for the sun. And here, I choose a location for my camera so that I can easily go to a good position to look at my scene. Finally, I deselect everything and I go back to frame 1. Now, let me run that one more time. Or, I can run the one that I've saved. Now I can press the space bar. We can get on this big fluffy cloud. So now it looks like we are sitting on a cloud and watching the moon, even though that's supposed to be a sun. And if I want, I can make it a moon by simply turning it white. Let me just go back to camera view. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is May 11th, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, have a look at my other videos. They might help you into programming or math. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.